Seeing the piece in a studio made me think um, of this space that, that's around us and the intention of this room. And the room was intended to be um, a platform for contemporary artists to envision new projects. And um, we spoke a little bit about his intentions and I think um, addressing the war that was going on at that time and continues to go on and how the bags were a metaphor uh, and particularly this sense of emptiness or once containing. Now as, as people realize through the text material associated with the show, the suspended bags all contain the name of a dead soldier. Like a lot of art, um, and especially installation art, it has to be experienced and then you know, you remember that experience. And I don't think people will forget it. I think it is extremely powerful, especially the combination of the visual, uh, audio, and the kinesthetic aspects, the actual walking through uh, that um, um, maze of bags that, that touch your body, and you understand that within the bag is, is the name of a fallen soldier. We've been to too many funerals and memorials for combat deaths and suicide. It's not the VA's fault, but it's the hidden cost of war. I've known guys that came back and attempted to kill themselves as a direct consequence of having gone to war. They came back disillusioned and feeling they haven't had a good reason to be there and that their service hasn't done any good. So in uh, totality, I see in my mind this whole idea coming together, the darkness of the room, this wall of bags at the entrance, which people will have to part through so that voluntarily or involuntarily, they will be touching these bags that contain the names of casualties. And it brings them immediately into contact with the uh, truth about what is going on with war. I mean, war is about people getting killed. Even when you go back to the Civil War, I mean, there were a huge amount of casualties, and in one day there'd be as many casualties as we've had in Iraq, because people were just thrown like sticks into the flames, you know? I learned to put all my fears in a shoebox and deal with them later. Now it's later and I'm trying to deal with some of it, but I want to forget it. There's another chapter in my life I'll leave and go on from. The Army is still mistakenly after me to re-enlist, although uh, I lost my legs there and still suffer from PTSD. Uh, when I talk about this thing, it gets me very emotional. But working with it, I am fine, you know, and, and it doesn't bother me. I had to stuff the names of all these casualties from Vietnam into these bags. You'd think that would have been a, a horrific thing to do, but like I said, you approach it as you would if you were a medic and you had to, uh, it was a job that you had to do. Well, the artist's job is to do the work. and. Uh, and hope that the result will be satisfying, because the work isn't. <laughs> the work is work. This piece is uh, accomplished, as I said to Ben, more than I expected. Um, um, he, he obviously is a very creative individual and has uh, taken on challenges to work with different media. Um, it was a dream come true for me to see this room used um, as a sandbox uh, for artists, a kind of area where they can play and experiment. Um, 
and in the final result, this is a very powerful, moving um, installation. I want to get people to understand that each one of these bags they see, you know, that's a life. That's somebody's wasted life, a life that could have been lived. Thank you.